Hi, Mike for the Fulcrum here, just giving you a little update. Uh, I don't even remember if I posted up a video of uh, the little garden I put in. I had two garden plots that uh, I received, one from uh, the city and one from one of the local churches. They are basically a 4x8, 4x10 garden plot. You could put anything you wanted, all free. And, you know, if you had any extra produce, you could donate back to the community through the church. Anyway, with about much more ado, well, here we go. I decided to get a little bit exotic. My entire little plot that uh, I got from the St. Columba Church, I put in uh, fingerling potatoes. I've never tried them before. I've usually just gone with a straight red or Yukon Gold type potatoes. But uh, some of them are rather unusual. Like, for example, I just dug up some right here, and they're purple, and they're Russian. <laughs> Those are going right into the steamer tonight with uh, some fresh picked beans and some cherry tomatoes and romas that I would pulled out of my backyard garden. This is like one of three garden plots I have. The other garden plot is uh, filled with uh, three kinds of beans and uh, red and green bell peppers and uh, what else have I got in there? Oh, cherry tomatoes and peas. But anyway, I shall put up a this little update up on uh, YouTube along with pictures of when I first put this in and maybe a little bit later some shots of the other plots that I planted but if you get a chance to do this next year by all means go for it most communities have these most of them are free of charge you just have to apply usually late winter in order to get a plot this one here rather uh, appropriately uh, called the Garden of Eaton <laughs> You see, we got a little bit of everything in here. Everything from elaborate to plain, like mine. Mine's all business. Some are more artsy. But anyway, get your hands dirty and give it a go. The worst that can happen is you have a lot of free veggies. So as always, breathe deeply. Think clearly. Enjoy each day. Stay curious. This is Mike from the Fulcrum.